So while everyone's getting this new Beatles singles box set, which looks very nice, I'm about nearly two years late, and today I'm going to be talking about the Sgt. Pepper 50th Anniversary box set. So, hello and yes, welcome back to another video, guys. So that's right, today I'm going to be talking about this. This is the Beatles Sgt. Pepper 50th Anniversary box set. This is the CD set. Um, I do have the vinyl, which is, voila, it's up here if I can get to it. So I have already heard this. Um, so anyway, why, how did I get this, blah, blah, blah. Well, I've actually had this for about three weeks now. Um, I just literally have not had the time to come on and make a video um, about it. I've, I've literally had time to make one video in the last three weeks and I went to a concert. So I wanted to talk about that while it was still fresh more. Um, but now I'm here to talk about this. I got this for my birthday, uh, my 22nd birthday off my mum. Um, so, uh, yeah, on my parents. <laughs> um, so thank you so much to them. Not that they watch my videos. Um, and they probably don't even know I'm still making videos, to be honest. But, you know, hey-ho, if they ever do stumble across it, thank you so much, Mum and Dad. Um, it was a lovely gift. They had no idea what to get me. And it was right after, when they asked me, it was, like, literally the day I got the Abbey Road set. And um, the Abbey Road set has a, a, a two-bonus vinyl, as does the White Album. Whereas the Sgt. Pep one only had one bonus vinyl in. And there's not that much on it. I was very disappointed with the bonus vinyl on this. So I thought, maybe the CD box would be good for me. Um, I, I, it's overkill beyond belief. <laughs> and I still kind of, to be fair, this one isn't too bad. The White Album box set is overkill beyond belief. Um, and Abbey Road isn't too much better. This one, this one is still overkill, I think, with the bonus material. But I thought, you know what, it's going to be really interesting. So I said, hey, look. It's it's not a cheap box, I said, but, you know, if, if you really want to get me something for my birthday, something, you know, this is all I can think of at the minute. Um, and my mum was lovely. She, yes, of course, we'll get you that. Um, so I was so grateful for that. So I got this a couple of weeks ago, uh, three weeks ago now. Um, so I've had it a while. But, um, yeah, here it is. The Beatles, Sgt. Pepper. Now, I said I weren't going to get these CD boxes, and I don't know if I will get the other two. I know some people in the comments are going to go, you should, they're really good. But they're a lot of money for bonus material, um, because that's all that really interests me. The books are nice, actually, um, but it's a lot of money for some bonus stuff in a book. Um, <laughs> so maybe I'll just ask for them for birthdays and Christmases, um, because they're still gettable, which is nice. They haven't got out of print yet. I say yet, because I think they will soon enough. Um... But yeah, the Sgt. Pepper one was the important one for me because I feel like I've, I've, um, I'm pretty well covered on the White Album and Abbey Road, um, whereas Sgt. Pepper, not as much on the 50th anniversary editions. So anyway, let's take a look at this bad boy set. So number one, I love this lenticular cover. So cool. I'm a big fan of lenticulars, and I've, I've never really, I've never got a lenticular cover on an album before. Um, other than the George Harrison box set, but that's actually, like a huge box set. And I suppose this is a box set. Um, but then also I got this and ELO's new album in like the same week, which was crazy. It's like, oh, two lenticulars. Been waiting a while for some of these. Um, <laughs> so there it is. Love it. It's beautiful, beautiful cover. Got the spine, really nice and thick. It stands out <laughs> very nicely on the shelf. There is the back with all of the information of everything you get in here. And the other spine, which is this side, is exactly the same as the other side. So then, let's have a quick look at what you get in here. Let's read this all out. So this, this just comes off like so. By the way, it's just, yeah, just a little cardboard to leave. So it's Hydro Paper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Um, this is the extensive collection. Gives you an... Um, insight into how the Beatles made their groundbreaking album. The box set features the new stereo mix by Giles Martin, who I absolutely love. I've loved all three of his remixes. I think they're all amazing. Especially this one, actually. Especially this one. Um, and 33 tracks from the Sgt. Pepper Sessions. That, that, uh, that places you in the studio with the group developing the songs. So you get four audio C CDs, and a Blu-ray DVD. 
So very nice, very nice, very nice. So let's put this down. So here you have this. So this is of course what the, you know, the first very, very, very first demo pressings would have looked like. Um, EMI tapes. And on the back, you've got the B side. So very cool. And this just opens up like so. Really nice, thick, sturdy card. And inside, you've got what looks like the record, but it isn't the record. And the little thing that pulls up, because you get a couple bits in. You get a couple bits. So I'm going to just pull it up. I'm going to pull everything out as it comes out of the box. So the first thing up is indeed what looks like the vinyl record. And it is identical, pretty almost. Um, so you open it up, and you've got your CDs. So you've got, they all just simply slide out their little jackets, like so. So you've got CD1. Which is the Girls Martin remix. And, of course, it's on Parlophone. And I have heard the Girls Might remix. I heard it when I got the vinyl when this was actually released. Um, and I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, so then we got CD2. And even though I was banging on about at the start of the video how I wanted this for all the bonus stuff because I feel like I got robbed a bit on the vinyl. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> I still ain't played it. I've had it three weeks and I ain't had a chance to sit down and listen to it. But I, I still have the... I'm sure I'm going to really enjoy them. So there is CD number two. I'll flip it round to the back where you can see all the tracks that come out of these first set of sessions. And the CD for that one is also Parlophone, I believe. Yeah. And then we've got CD3. Then on the back. Also Parlophone. And then here we have CD4. And this one's a bit different. This one has the album in mono, I'm pretty sure. Yep, album in mono. And then some more bonus tracks. So that's pretty cool. Because the mono version of this album sounds very different. And it's, I prefer it to the stereo mix. I'll say that. Sometimes I actually prefer the Beatles um, stereo mixes. I know most people just always go mono, but um, I kind of prefer some of their stereo mixes. Um, although, in this case, I think I prefer the Girls Martin mix. I, I really, really love his mix on this album. Um, so then here we have... This is the Blu-ray, which I actually watched on my birthday. I've watched this. I've done this bit of the box, <laughs> which is on my birthday. My dad, it's a documentary to come out in the 90s, I believe. Um, don't forget it has a name. Just... No. Um, it just, oh no, 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 it isn't, is it? Yeah, this is, um, the making of Sergeant Pepper. It, it features Paul McCartney, George Harrison, Ringo Starr, and George Martin. Also a couple other big names pop up here and there. And it is the Blu-ray audio for the album, which I also played through my sound bar downstairs on my TV, which is a beautiful setup, and it went all around the room, and it sounded incredible. Um, so I've, I've, I've done this one, completed this, um, <laughs> So there it is. There's the back. And the documentary was good. It was fun. And here is the disc. So yeah, that was a nice little watch. And then... Okay, can't get it back in. <laughs> and then for the people who can't make it past 2008... We've got the DVD. <laughs> um, this features exactly the same stuff. Um, DVD audio and the documentary. I actually really like the logo they've gone with here. It's a bit different to the one on the Blu-ray. And the disc. So yeah, very nice, very nice, very nice. So that is the record thingamabob. Next thing you get is a poster, which of course features the very famous gatefold picture 
and it is an old bit of advertisement. It says the Beatles, uh, new Beatles LP here now. And then I should have dressed up as that. I've got. I I went to a fancy dress party a couple weeks ago, and I bought Paul McCartney's Sergeant Pepper suit. Should have worn that for the video. Um, <laughs> And then this was really nice here. This features heavily in the documentary. This is the poster which John Lennon had um, in his house, on his wall, which inspired um, the song for the benefit of Mr. Carr, because nearly all the lyrics are on here. Um, so that's very interesting to look at now. Uh, flip for it. <clears throat> we got the cut out, because how can you not have the cut out? And then finally, the last bit in here is the super nice hardback book. So they always do a nice job with these Beatles books. You know, they've got a nice little bit of gloss on there. It's just kept looking very, very nice, very professional. Um, so on the spine, it has Sergeant Pepper. And it's not a super thick book. I'm not going to flick through it, although, because I don't want to just... It's, it's still like 100 pages. Um, but you get like all of the original lyrics and stuff, lyric sheets, bits of information, of course. Um, nice photos. Yeah, so it's just, just what you'd expect really, but it's still really fun to flick through and look at. Um, so yeah, that is the Beatles 50th anniversary Sergeant Pepper box set. You know, I'm not exactly sure what the, the correct title is because it's going to be a, a big obscure one properly, but I'm just calling it the Sergeant Pepper 50th Anniversary Box Set. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm right. Maybe that is all it's called. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice box. It really is. Um, and it kind of made me feel like, yeah, I've done Sergeant Pepper right, finally, for the 50th anniversary. I know some people are going to go, you should get a box set for the other two. But honestly, I think I'm quite happy with the bonus material on the other two. Um, although, knowing me, I'll end up with them eventually. So, <laughs> I won't be buying the 7-inch single box set, though, just because I'm not a fan of 7-inch singles. That one I will not be purchasing. Um, but that is it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it, as always. It's a really nice box. If you haven't got it, you know, it's it's got a pricey tag on it. Is it worth the price? Eh, I suppose it kind of is. It depends. It's... It's not really for me to judge. It's for the individual to judge there if it's worth that money to you. Um, it's a pricey box, but it is, it's nice. It's worth having. And it's the Beatles. It's the Beatles and it's Sergeant Pepper. I mean, you know, what more, what more do you want in life, hey? There we go. Look in the part now. Just the end of the video. I, rem I only remember that I had this about halfway through the video. So, well, hey, why not? Um, <laughs> that is it for this video, guys. Though. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like the video, leave a message, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye-bye.